Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, please. It's free. It don't take much. Just press the subscribe button right now. Just do it. Go ahead. All right, thanks. Now today we're actually talking about a pretty serious subject, one that has been talked about all over social media, and that's Post Malone. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Post Malone I mean, is extremely popular. If you don't know who Post Malone is, you are crazy, because you should. Um, he had came from Texas and he rose from the ranks of being just a YouTube singer all the way to the high heights of being a pop star. And so, through his rise, we've all seen his transformation. And uh, one of the um, more concerning transformations he's made recently uh, was some concerts that he was doing in um, uh, some different cities that he's been in. And a lot of people have been pointing out the fact that he seems to be almost not all the way totally there. Now, I want to touch on this for a very specific reason. We've seen so many artists uh, go down the same uh, path of drug abuse and alcoholism. And I'm actually going to show you guys a clip of a, an artist by the name of Amy Winehouse. Okay. Now, the reason why Post Malone's performance was so concerning um, is it's going to be obvious after I show you this clip. And before I show you, I do want to let you know um, that it's a little, it's a little disturbing. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But... Uh, this clip will kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about before I get into it. Okay, can I ask you something? As, a, as an audience, yeah? Yeah. Don't you think they look so handsome, like this? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a clip of Amy Winehouse. Uh, I believe this is her last performance, her public performance, before she died. And uh, she died of um, a mixture of alcohol and um, prescription drugs. She overdosed. And once again, look at the video. Look at what you're looking at. Just really pay attention to her movements, her mannerisms, the way she's stumbling. She can't even get through the song. All right? Now I want you all to look at a video of Post Malone. This is what he looked like at his concert. Stumbling, fumbling, looks like he's not all the way totally there. Everybody was concerned. Now, after looking at those videos and kind of seeing the comparison between the two, you can understand why some people were concerned. Now, this is something that, of course, everybody on social media has been talking about. They've been putting in their own two cents, and here's mine. If Post, Post Malone is doing drugs, uh, or maybe he's drinking a little bit too much alcohol before he goes on stage, this is nothing we haven't seen before. We've seen artists by the thousands go down the road of drug abuse and drug use as they went and ascended in their careers, and some of them didn't make it out. I mean, namely, Juice World. I just made a video about him not too long ago, and the fact that he got off the plane and he ingested multiple drugs, and he died as a result. Amy Winehouse is one of many artists as well who have actually been recorded being drunk, high, all over the place during a performance. Now, in Post Malone's defense, he did come out with a statement not too long ago, um, and he said that basically he's just fine, he's just performing, he's okay, which I think is great, and I'm sure that, um, you know, I'm sure he believes that. But from my own personal perspective and looking at these videos and looking at him perform, I gotta say that's not a convincing statement. 
And I understand, trust me, I get the fact that he wants people and his fans and young kids to believe that he's okay and that he's not struggling and that he's not abusing any drugs, but from the videos that I'm looking at, it looks like he's doing it. In fact, I showed you a video of Amy Winehouse in her, uh, literally her last video before she died of an overdose. I want to show you another video. Uh, there is a an artist by the name of Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison was actually the uh, leader of a band back back in the day called The Doors. Now here's a clip of that, and I want you all to see that, get an understanding of what that looks like again. Stumbling, fumbling, looking crazy, drunk, high, we don't know. But the point is, what he's doing is symptomatic. We've seen it time and time again. Artist after artist, musician after musician, rapper after rapper. This is not something you can just brush under the rug and tell us, it's okay, I'm fine. We've seen it one too many times, and it's sad that Post Malone feels like he has to lie to his audience in order to feel maybe some type of acceptance, or whatever it is. Once again, I believe he doesn't want to worry anybody. I believe he doesn't want anybody to be concerned about him. And I think, of course, it's a pride thing as well. I think if Post Malone is indeed struggling with something, which I do believe he is, whether it's alcoholism or drug abuse or whatever it is, a lack of sleep. I mean, it could be anything. I just think that I really hope he's being honest with himself behind closed doors about this. I mean, Mac Miller, he's somebody else that died of an overdose. Drug abuse behind closed doors. He speaks about it in his songs. He spoke about it in his performances, in interviews. <laughs> this is not new. This is not something that audiences have not seen. And it's very sad to me, to be honest, because there are kids that deal with their own parents having drug abuse issues. Brothers and sisters, cousins, aunts, uncles. And it's sad that some of the people that they recognize and idolize are abusing some of the same drugs. It's sad to me that, once again, as a whole, the music industry is full of broken people. And we're broken people. And I think that has a lot to do with why their music connects with us. Because we're all broken in some way, shape, or form. But once again, I believe that, especially people like Post Malone, where it's obvious, you can see it. There is evidence, time and time again, with multiple musicians, multiple artists. It's hard to hide. I mean, I hope that Post Malone really is telling the truth and he is okay and he's not struggling with anything. I really hope that he's not going through some type of metamorphosis with drugs and he's not experimenting with alcohol and some other type of prescription pills. I hope that he's not drunk or high during his performances and all of it really is just a stunt. But once again, it's too many instances, too many videos and too many times where I've seen the opposite where I've seen people like Amy Winehouse sing songs about how she doesn't need to go to rehab. I've seen people sing songs and rap about how they're just fine and no one needs to worry about them. Post Malone is singing the same song they sang before. And of course, as a concerned audience member and somebody who consumes his art, I'm going to be concerned as well. I'm glad he went on stage and cleared it up and there are many people in the comments who say that he's just performing and he's just vibing. He's just feeling the music. I've seen people just feel the music. I've just felt the music. And it don't look like that. Stumbling, fumbling, not being able to catch your balance, not being able to say your words right, slurring. I'm sorry, I'm not convinced. Now, of course, Post Malone can do nothing but say his piece and all we can do is say ours. It's a free country. We can do that. Welcome to America. But I think he does need to recognize the fact that there's evidence out there of other artists who did the exact same thing he did on stage multiple nights. We've seen it. This is not a new song, a new story. This story has been written time and time again of people who are unable to get through a performance because they're too drunk, they're too high, and they're too out of their mind. Once again, if Post Malone really is telling the truth and he really is just performing and vibing with the music, I'm glad and I'm happy and that is a relief. However, from what I'm looking at, I, I quite frankly don't believe that. Um, and so, 
you know, I respect him as an artist, but I really do hope that people out there just recognize the fact that, you know, um, artists are going through a lot. They do have a lot to deal with. They have fame and money and fortune and all of this they have to deal with. And sometimes we have to just keep them in our prayers. We just got to hope they're okay and hope that we don't see an RIP Post Malone somewhere down the road because he overdosed or something happened to him. I do genuinely, genuinely care about him and his well-being and I hope he is okay. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope all of you just pay more attention to your, the people that you recognize as artists, people that you recognize as, as um, somebody that you might see as an idol or somebody that you might really love to watch perform. I want you all to really pay close attention to them. Really recognize when they look like they're struggling or they may not be feeling well. Send them some love, send them messages, send them IMs or DMs. Send them something that says that you care. Because at the end of the day, they're just humans too. And if Post Malone is struggling with something, like I said, he doesn't have to come out and say it to the world, but I really do hope that he's conscious of it and that he is trying to get some sort of help. Anyway, guys, once again, thank you for watching. I haven't been posting much. I'm trying my best. I hope you all keep sticking with me. I love all the subscribers, all the love, all the likes and comments. Make sure you subscribe, please, right now. Guys, I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. Help me out. I'm almost there. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. Once again, thank you all so much for the support. Share this video. Like the video. I love you all. I'll see you all later.